Welcome back everyone, all about the Raptors for game four, our predictions. So James, friends, what do you guys think? Who do you think will win game? Who do you think will win game four? All right, so uh, my opinion, I think, uh, I take the Raptors. Okay. I think they, they smell blood. Um, <laughs> uh, like that's, that's what Chris Bosh said. Um, it depends really who's, who's playing. Um, they said Clay Thompson's now gonna play. Uh, we don't know about KD. Um, the owner said he still may play during the series, but um, you know, bearing Clay Thompson's injury, it's a hamstring injury. Um, it's tough to to play with a hamstring injury. You oh, know, yeah, especially um, for this kind of you sport. jump, you run, uh, you you make lateral movements. Yeah, any leg injuries. It's yeah, bad. it's it's, it's tough because like basically all your yeah. movements is you know from your from that you know part of your you know body. So um, and if Raptors um, you know kept doing uh, what they did last time, um, then they shouldn't have any issues. Um, Winning the the next game, and then after that, they can just like finish them off, finish them off in uh, here in Toronto, game five, and then we we'll hoist the title by the end of the night. Raps in five <laughs> is what you're probably predicting. Yeah, raps in yeah. five, baby. Okay, <laughs> James. <laughs> you never know, like you never know when it comes yeah. to to Clay Thompson. You don't know if he's sixty percent coming back or hundred percent. So that's the thing about that thing. But um, yeah, you just I. The obvious choice is Raptors uh, winning the game four, but you never because if Steph Curry goes to forty-seven, eight and eight again, and then Clay Thompson with a hundred percent, that's hard to beat. Mm -hmm. That's really hard to beat compared to to um, just a Steph and Curry. Or just yeah. even so with yeah. like Clay on you know limited minutes, yeah. let's say 25, 30 minutes and everything. I still he still makes that kind of you know impact when yeah. it comes to you know being on the court and everything yeah, just too, defensively right? he's yeah. pretty good in de defense and like guarding someone who's like but you know everybody in the rapture side was like making like random shots like danny green like leaning three is like making fred van go, fleet's yeah. shot too <laughs> just threw yeah. it up. <laughs> the thing about raptors when they're on they're on yeah. Like game one, freaking Red Van Fleet, Van Fleet was like throwing up shots. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Siakam. oh my god! Oh, we forgot about Siakam. Oh, yeah, Siakam. yeah. See, Siakam had a good yeah. game. Game one, they won. They yeah, the bad points. game. Yeah, bad game. Game two, game three, he had a good game. They won. So it really depends on the bench and depends on Pascal yeah. how he plays. So yeah. So, yeah, he's definitely that X factor when yeah. it comes to us in the series too, right? So, you know, um, when it, let's say we do have, you know, Katie, we yeah. do have. Clay coming in, right? So yeah. you're gonna have Katie, Clay, um, you know, Curry, obviously, yeah. um, probably what Iguodala, like Draymond Green, yeah. Iguodala, and everything. Who do you? What do you think might be the potential matchup, right? That might, I think, that might take a huge toll on us, especially defensively too, right? Defensively, yeah. they're all smart. Offensively, it's like it opens up so many yeah. more avenues now once Katie comes yeah. back, right? So yeah. what do you guys think? With Nick Nurse, you never know. Because right. Nick Nurse always puts someone like their best defender, not Kawhi. Kawhi always give him like I mean put they, Nick Nurse always put Kawhi last four minutes or last three minutes. So I would say if Durant comes back, I think Pascal is gonna stick him just because the height. Um, and then by the last three minutes, Kawhi is gonna guard him, kind of like that, like switch because that's how Nick Nurse when it comes to defense, he always switch things around until by the end of like the last two minutes or last three minutes. Yeah, um, yeah, like you, like you mentioned, uh, it might be KD plus, uh, I mean, versus Siakam. Um, yeah, there'll, there'll be different matchups this time if those two guys come back. Um, Larry would be on basically uh, probably, uh, yeah, Curry. And then uh, Draymond Green uh, would be, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, probably Danny Green. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. um, and then KD would probably be, uh, what oh, no. oh yeah I did mention uh, Siakam mm -hmm. yeah well, I mean um, it's, it's really hard to tell um, I, I couldn't even think of uh, what I was saying because uh, there's just different matchups basically it's, it's, a, it's very yeah. confusing because they can also yeah. they also have that ability to switch and everything too especially like you know if Kawhi was wanting to get the switch mm -hmm. you have many other people yeah. in Golden State that can be able to right so yeah. if we were to have you know, Katie and Clay come back again. It's just going to be, yeah. even I don't even know. Even maybe if Looney may come back too. Like yeah. he applies more pressure too defensively yeah. compared to like most of the big men's on that team too, right? Yeah. So mm. um, I don't know. I just feel like it's 
it's it's dangerous if we get if KD does come back. Yeah. But um, because it's a, it's a hard matchup. Yeah. One for thing though, you're not 100. Yeah. percent But even so, like, I'd rather you know I think K, even even KD at 70, percent he's still a superstar, right? Yeah, so that's true. He's yeah. still putting up the points. Yeah. He still comes in clutch, right? So. It's it's still dangerous though, even if we get KD like, not. To at be it. honest, I think it's uh, Steph just need assistance because yeah. he doesn't like like yeah. the, everyone in the Golden State can do anything except like Draymond Green a yeah, little Draymond, bit. Draymond, that's it. But do you do you guys think that 2015 Warriors bench is better? Than, like, if you put it on 2019 bench, you think it will be they do better than this year than? I mean, age does take a toll, right? Yeah. So 2015 I mean, yeah, benches, yeah. I think it's better. They, they yeah, they have, they have Barbosa, like Barbosa. They had, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. who else do they have? I forgot the names. This is a long time ago, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think they do have a better bench than. Yeah. Cause now, was in the bench that time. So. Yeah, because now it's just the, the superstars, you know, KD, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Cousins. Uh, Curry and all those guys. Because his name just whatever with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's one, yeah, one for seven last game. Oh but, my god, um, yeah, that was, yeah, was terrible. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it'll be yeah, it'll just open up. Uh, you know, um, if KD and Clay comes back, because it'll give Curry more opportunities. You never know who's gonna go off. You never know who's gonna step up. Um, so uh, hopefully, either way, Raptors is ready. Whoever comes back. And yeah. they're, they go, you know, they're ready to go for the kill, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, go for that, you know, first NBA title for, you know, the city of Toronto. So let's say if we do win for game four, and it's going to be like 3-1 in the yeah. series. Do you think Golden State, Golden State might have that potential to like even catch up or to even like... Yeah, you never know with the yeah. Golden, Golden State. State. You know, well, Golden they State did before, is Golden State. They did before with um, Thunder. Thunder, okay, yeah, see, three right? They're yeah. down. Yeah. Actually, yeah. like brought it all up. And I, I'd, yeah. never, I'd never count them out till, you know, <laughs> until we hoist that title. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, above uh, Kawhi Leonard's head or above uh, Messiah's head. You know, until then, until the, the last buzzer hits, never, I never count out, you know, Golden it's, State. It's, it's really unpredictable because we yeah, can't really. You know, there's a couple of possessions, you know, they would hit two threes, you know, and uh, let's say they're down nine, yeah. three minutes left. You know, Curry gets hot. Uh, Clay, uh, they would just shoot threes all over the place. They would be able to catch up, and then next thing you know, it's a tie game or they're up by one, yeah. so on and so forth. So yeah. Raptors really just gonna, uh, you know, keep aggressive and keep, uh, you know, uh, their their pace yeah. the whole entire game. You know, keep the tempo, and then um, what they basically gotta do is uh, just put the best defensive scheme they can they can put on uh, the Warriors, and then. Hopefully they're lucky with the shots that you've yeah. been saying they're making. <laughs> and bring back a, yeah. you know, like Danny Green, bring yeah. back a Exactly, <laughs> he's first happen. Danny Green. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Wait, yeah. my last question is that um, OG is back. I heard the OG is oh, back. OG, so okay. you think yeah. OG will make a big difference even with uh, Kevin Durant's back? Defensively. Defensively, yes. Yeah. Right? He has that belt and everything. You know, yeah. he is that he has that combination of like you know that for like power forward and everything too, right? So, yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So I just feel like yes, he would make an impact, but then again, he still has to be aware with his health. You know, he has to be yeah. careful with it too, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that big body too. So exactly, right? <laughs> so yeah. Um, well, that's all we have for tonight's show. Um, be, be sure to check us out on Panoi Bounce on Instagram and be sure to check us out on YouTube. And friends, do you have anything to say before we head out? Yeah, I uh, just want to say, you know, belated uh, happy birthday to my mom. Uh, shout out to you. Happy um, birthday, Tita. Happy birthday. <laughs> and, um, you know, just want to thank all the Raptor fans, you know, for giving our team, you know, the best support. And uh, also, uh, yeah, thank you, Panoi Crossover, for putting me back on the show. Yeah, no problem. Glad to have you. Yeah, thank you. James? Uh, just check out PinoyCrossover.ca. Um, I posted a new article about NBA players going to bankruptcy. So, yeah, just check it out. Well, other than that, everyone have a great day. And other than that, stay balling. <laughs>